Hi, this is John with GPG Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dramatic black and white image from your landscape photograph. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this image up, and as you can see I shot for the sky, which left my foreground and the ground a bit dark. So I'm going to open the shadows up there, and we're going to take the whites, and holding down the Alt key on your keyboard, we're going to take the white slider and pull that to the right, opening it up just until you start to see those specks of light. And with the blacks, we're going to do the same thing, hold the Alt key, and we're going to slide those down until we just begin to see some of that coming through. Now knowing I'm going to go black and white with this image, I'm going to go to the HSL grayscale button, which is uh, hue, saturation, luminance. We're going to open the luminance area and bring the blues down a little bit. That's darkening up those blues, as well as the aquas, which are going to do the lighter blues, bring those a little darker as well. Once we have that, we're going to actually go into the saturation. We're going to saturate those blues and those aquas just a bit more as well. And then we're going to go ahead and open the image. Now today I'm not only going to be using Photoshop with this image, I'm going to be using uh, the Google Nick Collection plugins. If you don't have these, you can give them a trial. I think it's a free 15-day trial. It's uh, I think it's $150 for the entire set. Um, they're wonderful and very powerful tools. One of the first things I'm going to use with the uh, Nick Collection is the Define 2 uh, tool. And what that does is it'll bring a lot of the grain out of the sky. And you can see here the, the before on the left and the after on the right here. We can slide this little slider over so you can actually see what it's doing to the image. And we're going to hit OK with that. And that takes the define a little bit of time to, uh, to process that, that into the image. And again, these are very powerful tools, um, very easy to use. And uh, it's, it's worth a try. Like I said, it's got the 15-day trial. It's, it's worth a shot to try them out and see how you like them. And once that is done, we're going to go ahead and open the Viveza 2. With the Viveza 2, I'm just going to be altering the sky only. And it has these control points, so I'm going to drop a control point up here. And then the area of influence, I'm going to bring to the entire sky and it has a what's called a structure button and I'm going to go ahead and slide that structure up and as you can see it's uh, bringing a lot of detail into those clouds and while I'm there I'm also going to yank a little bit of red and a little bit of green out of those blues and bring those even deeper into the blue and we're going to go ahead and hit OK now if you didn't have the Nick collection uh, you can skip those last two steps and your end result will be approximately the same. You won't have maybe the detail um, in the clouds that I'll be getting here and of course the reduction of the grain um, on your image. So a lot of that will depend on what ISO you've, you've set. So once we have that done, we're going to go up in here to the layer adjustments and we're going to choose the channel mixer. Make sure the monochrome box is clicked slide that slider, open that up to about 150 and with the, that was the reds, and with the greens open those up to about 150 as well somewhere around in there and with the blues we're going to drag those down to a negative 200 and that gives us that dramatic sky, that beautiful wonderful sky the problem here is down at the bottom where the corn is we've gotten all blown out so what I'm going to do is using the bracket keys we can uh, resize our brush a little bit here, and I'm going to go ahead. Uh, the adjustment layers come with a mask, right, right up here. This mask. So we're going to go ahead and brush this in a little bit, using the foreground color of black on the white mask, and even this background area here is a little blown out. So we're going to bring our brush down and fill that in a little bit, and any other little areas you might see that you might want to kind of normalize, as it were. So we're going to just go like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add another adjustment layer, um, this time the black and white adjustment layer. Now the black and white adjustment layer only affects color. It will not affect uh, or what's already black and white, what's already monochrome. So these areas where, where we masked and have that color, that's all that's going to be affected by this black and white layer. Um, with that, we know we're dealing with red, with uh, yellows and greens in the corn, so we're just going to open that up just a touch 
with the yellows and just a little bit with the greens. And then there you go. And with my top layer mask uh, selected, I can go to the bottom layer, hit shift and click, and then a control G groups those all together. And we can turn that off and we can see the before and the after. So that's it. That's a quick and easy way to get that dramatic, uh, almost Ansel Adamish <laughs> look to your black and white uh, landscapes. Again, this is John with GPG Photography. Uh, feel free to leave any comments below, and I hope you subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and have a great day.